Well, good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. And I hope you have a blessed day with family and friends. And uh, as we remember how good God has been to each one of us. And I think whether you're in the hospital or you're in um, uh, you're you're at home, whether you um, are meeting with a lot of friends or maybe just a few close friends or even you're alone today. You know, you're never alone when you're when you're saved, when you're born again. Jesus Christ, he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He is right there and we can give glory to him and be thankful. This week, we've been spending time uh, on the theme of Thanksgiving, being thankful. And today is a day where we're supposed to stop and be thankful. As a nation, we are to be thankful. How good has God been to this nation? We've been so rebellious and so uh, anti-God for so long now. Uh, persecution is beginning to raise its ugly head. And yet on this day, um, you know, people stop and are thankful. Uh, you know, most of the people are going to be watching football and uh, they'll be eating their dinner in front of the TV set and they're not really uh, spending time to be thankful. But, you know, uh, whether they do it verbally or otherwise, I can't help but think that the idea of being thankful is is really permeates um, uh, throughout our country, maybe throughout the world during this time. We've been looking at First Chronicles 16, and uh, we're going to begin there again today. It says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing psalms to him, talk of all his wondrous works, glory in his name. Let the hearts of those who rejoice, who seek the Lord, seek the Lord in his strength, seek his face forevermore. Remember his marvelous works, which he has done, his wonders and his judgments and the judgments of his mouth. So on Monday, we talked about being thankful. Uh, giving thanks and how that's a testimony to the world. We talked about on Tuesday about singing to him that our, because we're so thankful, our whole demeanor, how we conduct ourselves, how we, how others see us really should be different because we're not complaining. We're not looking at our problems. We're looking to God. Yesterday we talked about uh, glorying in God, giving glory, giving praise, being thankful, being boastful in him. Because it's not about me. All I have is not about him, about me. It, the food I have on the table, it, it did not come from me. It came from him. We have so much to glory in God about. Now today, we're going to talk about that verse in verse 12 uh, or verse 11. It says, seek the Lord. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face forevermore. Now it's interesting here because... Uh, Monday, glory. Tuesday, seeing. Um, uh, Monday, uh, th being thankful. To, uh, Tuesday, sing to him. Wednesday, glory in him. And today it talks about seeking him. Did you Have you realized that as we pray to God, as we um, bring our petitions before him, the Bible says to cast all our cares upon him, for he cares for us, that as we kneel, and we, we pray uh, for our children, and we pray for uh, our church, and we pray for the sick, and as we, um, as we pray for our needs, that when we pray, we're giving glory to him. Have you ever thought about that? Why? Because we realize that I need uh, what only God can provide. As a father, I seek to protect my kids, but I have my limitations. There's only so much I can do, but my God is limitless. As as a as a as a dad, I want to provide for my kids, and but my resources are, are are limited. But my God's resources are limitless. And you go through all that all the scenarios of life, and when we bow and we 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 bring our petitions before Him, we're saying that you are God. You are my provider. You are my protector. You are my sustainer. You are my savior. You and you alone, I depend upon because I can't do it myself. He says to, to seek the Lord. 
in this this psalm of thanksgiving where the nation is supposed to uh, to be thankful to to be joyful to be boastful in God we are to be seeking him continually to rely upon him people I've heard people say that I don't want to I don't want to ask God for it because it's so small I, I don't want to ask. I don't want to bother God. Well, you're not bothering God. You see, when I present my need before God, I, you know, I, whether I need direction or when I need deliverance or whether I need this or that, God is glorified because we're honoring him in the position that he has. Today, on Thanksgiving, we can seek the Lord. We can praise his holy name. We can pray and glorify him by presenting our needs. We can open our word, the word of God, and say, God, this day I need you more than I need family. I need you more than I need um, uh, uh, the sustenance, the food. I need you. I seek you. Amen? Amen. Happy Thanksgiving. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying, God loves you, and I love you as well, and I'll talk to you soon.